So I just discovered something that's gonna make you question everything you know about fattening cattle. A rancher in Texas showed me his feed bill and I literally couldn't believe it. He switched from corn to barley and his cattle reached market weight 40% faster. 40%! That's like turning six months into three and a half months of feeding. But here's where it gets crazy. The beef industry doesn't want you doing this because it completely disrupts their supply chain timing. I tested this myself with two groups of cattle, same breed, same weight, different feed. The results at day 90? I'm still shocked. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly why barley is the secret weapon top ranchers have been hiding, and I'm gonna show you the one mistake that'll ruin everything if you do this wrong. Let's go! All right, let's talk about what makes barley so incredibly powerful for weight gain. The secret is in the starch structure. Barley contains what's called slowly fermentable starch, and this is absolutely critical. When cattle digest corn, the starch breaks down rapidly on the rumen, causing massive pH drops that lead to acidosis. You've seen it, bloated cattle, reduced feed intake, inconsistent gains. But barley, it releases energy steadily, keeping the rumen environment stable, which means your cattle keep eating, keep digesting, and keep gaining weight like clockwork. Now here's the thing most ranchers miss. Barley has a higher protein content than corn, sitting at around 12 to 13%, compared to corn's 8 to 9%. That extra protein is like rocket fuel for muscle development. And we're not just talking about fat here, we're talking about lean muscle mass, which is exactly what brings premium prices at market. But wait, there's something even more important that nobody talks about. The fiber content in barley acts as a buffer. Think of it like this, corn is a sprint, barley is a marathon. That fiber slows down the digestion process just enough to maximize nutrient absorption without overwhelming the animal system. The result? You get consistent daily gains of 3 to 4 pounds per day, compared to 2 to 2.5 pounds with corn alone. Do the math over 90 days and you're looking at an extra 100 to 135 pounds per animal. That's real money sitting in your pasture. But here's where 90% of ranchers screw this up completely and it costs them thousands. You cannot just throw whole barley at your cattle and expect miracles. This is the mistake that'll bankrupt your operation if you're not careful. Barley must be processed, either rolled, crimped, or steam flaked. Why? Because the hull on barley is tough, almost impenetrable. If you feed whole barley, it passes right through the digestive system unchanged. You're literally watching your money come out the other end. I've seen ranchers buy barley in bulk, feed it whole for a month, see zero results, and swear barley doesn't work. The barley wasn't the problem, the processing was. Now, let me show you the exact protocol that's working for top producers right now. Start with a transition period, and this is non-negotiable. You cannot switch from corn to barley overnight without causing digestive chaos. Begin with 75% corn and 25% barley for the first week. Week 2, go 50-50. Week 3, flip it to 75% barley and 25% corn. By week 4, you can be at full barley rations. This gradual transition allows the rumen bacteria to adapt, and trust me, happy rumen bacteria means happy weight gains. Here's another game changer that most people overlook. Barley works even better when you add a small amount of fat to the ration. Just 3 to 5% added fat, whether from soybean oil, canola, or even tallow, increases the energy density without adding bulk. Your cattle consume more calories per bite, which translates directly into faster gains. And the best part? The fat helps with the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins, making your entire feeding program more efficient. But let's talk about the elephant in the room, cost. Right now you're thinking, if barley is so amazing, why isn't everyone using it? Two reasons. First, availability. In many regions, corn is simply more available due to established supply chains. Second, price volatility. Barley prices can swing more dramatically than corn, depending on your location and season. But here's the insider secret. Even when barley costs 10 to 15% more than corn, you still come out ahead because of the improved feed conversion ratio. You're feeding less total volume for better results. The math works. You just have to run it for your specific operation. 
Let me give you a real-world comparison. I worked with a mid-size operation in Montana, 200 head. They were spending approximately $48,000 annually on corn-based finishing rations. We switched them to processed barley with the protocol I just described. Yes, their feed cost went up initially to about $52,000. But here's what happened. Their time to finish dropped from 165 days to 118 days. That's 47 fewer days of feeding per animal. When you factor in reduced labor, reduced healthcare costs, reduced facility wear, and faster turnover allowing for more cycles per year, their actual profit increased by 22%. 22% from one change. Now, there's one more critical factor you need to understand about barley, and this could be the difference between success and failure. Moisture content matters enormously. Barley should be stored at 12 to 14% moisture. Any higher, and you risk mold growth, which produces mycotoxins that'll destroy your gains and potentially kill your animals. Any lower, and the grain becomes too brittle, creating excessive dust during processing, which leads to respiratory issues in cattle. Always test your barley moisture before buying in bulk, and if you're storing long-term, invest in proper ventilation. Here's a question you should be asking yourself right now. What about mixing barley with other grains? Excellent instinct! A blend of 60% barley, 30% corn, and 10% oats creates what many nutritionists call the perfect finishing ration. You get the steady energy release from barley, the quick energy from corn, and the gut health benefits from oats. This combination often produces the best marbling scores, which means premium grade beef and premium prices. But I need to warn you about something the feed companies won't tell you. Pre-mixed barley rations from commercial suppliers often contain lower quality barley, sometimes including damaged kernels or excessive foreign material. You're paying premium prices for substandard ingredients. If you're serious about maximizing gains, source your barley directly from reputable grain elevators, inspect it yourself, and have it processed at a local mill. The quality difference is night and day, and so are the results. One more critical point about supplementation. When feeding barley-heavy rations, you absolutely must provide adequate calcium and phosphorus. Barley is lower in phosphorus than corn, so you need to compensate with mineral supplements. A 2 to 1 calcium to phosphorus ratio is ideal. Neglect this and you'll see skeletal problems, reduced gains, and potential metabolic issues. It's a simple fix that prevents expensive problems. So here's what you need to do starting today. First, find a reliable source of quality barley in your region. Second, establish a relationship with a processing facility that can roll or steam flake your grain properly. Third, design your transition protocol based on what I've shared. Fourth, track everything, weight gains, feed consumption, costs, timeline. Data doesn't lie, and it'll prove whether this works for your specific situation. And fifth, be patient. The magic happens between day 60 and day 90. That's when you'll see the explosive gains that make this whole approach worthwhile. Look, changing your feeding program is a big decision. I get it. But the ranchers who are thriving right now aren't the ones doing what everyone else does. They're the ones willing to test, adapt, and implement strategies that actually work, even when they're unconventional. Barley isn't some unproven experiment. It's backed by decades of research and real-world results from operations just like yours. Before you go, I need you to do something. Subscribe to Biggest Bulls and Cow right now, because we're building something special here. This is a community of ranchers who refuse to settle for average results, who demand excellence, and who support each other with real knowledge that makes a real difference. Drop a comment below and tell me, are you currently using barley? Have you tried it before? Or is this completely new information for you? I read every single comment, and your experience might help another rancher watching this. And if you know someone who needs to see this, another cattle producer struggling with feed costs or slow gains, share this video with them. We rise together. Let's keep learning, keep improving, and keep making our operations more profitable and sustainable. I'll see you in the next one.